Do you need to become a better listener in just 10 simple steps? Let's see if you can actually do it. So effective communication is the foundation of any successful relationship, whether it's personal, professional, and at the heart of it is listening. So unfortunately, listening is a skill that many of us take for granted, assuming that we're doing it right when in reality we're often not. When we're trying to listen effectively, many of us face a multitude of challenges. There's the constant distraction of phones, pressure to respond quickly, temptation to interrupt, and the difficulty of setting aside any preconceived notions. And we've all been there, we've done that, and we've failed miserably. You're on a phone call with your friend, for example, and then you hear a notification from social media. Before you know it, you're scrolling through your feed, completely zoned out from the conversation, and then all of a sudden they're like, are you there? Got it. Or in a meeting, someone's presenting an idea, you're already thinking about what your response is rather than actually absorbing what's being said. We are so focused on our own thoughts and opinions that we actually forget to truly listen to other people. Try an experiment for me. Don't talk in a conversation at all unless you're asked a question. See how long it takes for the other person to actually stop talking. You will be shocked at how long people talk for. We all love the sound of our own voices and have so much to say. In my experience, people love to have conversations with people who don't talk. Surprisingly, that makes you more noticeable as a person. I absolutely love it. So just try it. Notice the change in how people act towards you. It's so effective. Another massive obstacle is impatience. We're constantly in a rush. We're trying to get to the next task or meeting, the next deadline, and we don't actually take the time to truly listen to what's being said. Ask clarifying questions, seeking understanding, we're more concerned with getting our point across than actually understanding the other person's perspective. And then, of course, there's our preconceived notions, our bias, our assumptions. We think that we know what the other person is going to say, so we stop listening and then start preparing our own response. Lastly, physical distractions are a significant barrier to effective listening. We're in a noisy cafe or a crowded event and we can't help but get distracted. We're trying to tune out the background noise, but it's so hard to focus. And these challenges are so familiar, they can make listening to a daunting task difficult. But fear not, because today we're going to tackle them head on and explore 10 simple steps to become a better listener. So the first step, give the speaker your undivided attention. So that means putting away your phone, turning off a TV, making eye contact. It's about creating a conductive environment for listening. The second step is avoid interrupting them. Let them finish their thoughts. This can be tough, especially if we're excited about the topic, but it's so important to let them have their say. The third step, practice active listening. Nod, make eye contact, summarize what the speaker said as well. The fourth step, ask open-ended questions. That can encourage them to share a bit more about their experiences. And that also helps them to build trust and create a deeper understanding as well. The fifth step, avoid giving unsolicited advice. Focus on offering empathy and support. If they want your advice, they'll ask for it. The sixth step is to listen for underlying emotions. Don't just focus on surface level conversation. People might need support or help, but they don't actually know how to ask for it. Seventh step is set aside your bias and approach the conversation with an open mind. The eighth step, take notes, especially in a professional setting. You can refer to them later on and then ensure that you remember what's been discussed. The ninth step is clarify any misunderstandings. Seek clarifications if you need them. And finally, the tenth step is to follow up shortly after, show that you're committed to what was being discussed in that conversation. So I'd like to share a story that illustrates how transforming becoming a better listener is for you. So a friend of mine was going through a tough breakup and she was just feeling so lost and alone. Now I do my best to put all of these steps that I've just mentioned into practice. So truly listen to her. I gave her my undivided attention. I avoided interrupting and I practice active listening. So I ask open-ended questions. How did that make you feel? What was that like? And that, then she could open up more. What resulted was an incredibly powerful conversation where my friend felt seen, heard and understood. And not just that, it was a turning point in our friendship and it brought us much closer together. So this works for workplace colleagues as well. It can make a huge difference in how 
we are perceived by our workplace peers. Becoming a better listener can have a massive impact on our personal and professional relationships. So by following these 10 simple steps, you can build trust, foster a deeper connection and communicate more effectively. And please, please remember, listening is a skill, it takes practice. With patience, persistence and dedication, you can become a better listener. So to finish, have you ever had an experience where you realised you weren't listening as effectively as you could have been? Share your story in the comments below and if you are looking for more communication tips, be sure to subscribe, check out my next videos for more helpful tips like these. I'll see you soon. Take care guys. Woo!